Well, hi there. I'm just today working on a uh, some kind of heating system for the dugout. So the first design is this uh, wood gas stove. See, it's a coffee can with holes at the bottom. See it? And so the oxygen will come through the bottom and then push up the can. So I've been testing that today. I have a second can uh, with a hole in the top. Uh, here, hole in the top that I was using to put on top as an experimental uh, stove like uh, heater. Uh, but the oxygen rate was too low, so I'm gonna have to, if I want to do that one, uh, widen the holes at the bottom. Uh, and uh, I've got a pipe for the top, but I'll have to make an adapter. Uh, first thing I want to say, it's a little bit smoky for this location, so it can only be done late at night. Can't do it during the day. And the second thing I want to say is uh, check out what this design is capable of here. One second. Let's see if I can find this lighter. There we go. So, one thing I did today, I'm just to try to illuminate this here. Uh, can't really. I, I dug this water pit in deeper and I expanded the dugout a couple feet. But anyway, I'll get back to the uh, main attraction here. My uh, headlamp is gonna die soon, but it shouldn't need it. This is uh, the power of the air exchange. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna film it from outside. Oops, outside. So what first thing I'm gonna say is I need a cleaner source of fuel and newspaper. It's kind of gross uh, as far as the ink. Yeah, but uh, here we go. Now we'll come out beside the dugout. And here. You can start to see it. Now if this all goes well it will light up the whole Hold up out there, turning it brighter. And even though you can't see it from here, uh, it, when it goes really bright, it does the surroundings. So uh, here, I'm gonna go back in. It doesn't seem to be too bad. Okay. I just wanna see if I can get a shot of it lighting up the whole dugout but obviously I can't today uh, but anyway under cover of darkness this is a nice fire pit with the dugout dug the way it is you're not seeing it uh, you're just smelling the smoke it's almost impossible to see it's warm like really warm I use uh, other heaters and I'm telling you now this is warm the wind happens to be just blowing in the right direction and uh, you know what with a stack full of newspapers, this is survival for all night. It might not be pleasant. No, actually, with this type of heat, it will be pleasant. Uh, you can survive in, in this dugout in a cold temperature, definitely. I underestimated the amount of radiation. Anyway, that's the uh, version one of the uh, wood gas modified stove that's what they call it uh the warm air rises and sucks an oxygen from the bottom and increases the rate of combustion and heat okay push through the top which is the uh, a pipe a stove pipe i'll show you this I'll put it on top okay now you can see it okay and i'll put a little piece of iron on it or a piece of a rock anyway and then you can see right away all the, the smoke will come up there. So that will go the piping system. But those holes at the bottom need to be expanded. So this is step one of heating this. It's uh, successful. Uh, it's just a little bit smoky. And uh, once I get some good wood in here, it should smell better. Right? Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is the dugout. Expanded a couple extra feet. Now it has a wood area heating system. Uh, 
ready to go to uh, the next step. This is, uh, I guess, a wood gas stove or wood burning stove dug out here uh, series. So this is one of the uh, support, one in the series. Okay, uh, please subscribe if you're interested in this type of thing, and uh, check out the dug out video series if this is the only one you see. Uh, thanks for watching. Over now.